3 a.m. tomorrow morning, this place is gonna be going off. So currently at the moment, this is poor Treef, and there's a few waves out here, but there is a storm coming tomorrow morning. You could almost say this is the calm before the storm. I wake up feeling even smaller Even when the storm is over Was it all in my head? Did we try to hide and lost it all instead? Was it all on me? Are you back I know I ramble on a lot about the weather dictating whether I can make videos or not. I think that's a reasonable enough excuse for this weekend. So they're pretty much saying that there's like this huge weather warning for this weekend saying that, you know, people should stay indoors, they shouldn't get out of the house. I'm not gonna be one of the idiots that puts my life in jeopardy just to get a couple of pictures, but I figured I'd bring you down here sort of the day before the storm actually kicks off. But what I could do and what I am considering doing is possibly getting some shots of how it is now and then coming back early morning and I'm not gonna be clambering out along the rocks because all this is gonna be alive where, I, where I'm standing now. But I could probably go up onto the headland up here and probably get some shots of the waves. It will involve getting up at stupid o'clock. They've pretty much warned against anybody driving anywhere. What they're saying so I'm just getting a bit worried because the tide's starting to come in. They've said don't drive unless it's completely necessary. They're saying that this storm is probably going to be the biggest storm that we've seen in Cornwall for about 10 years. That makes me want to come out and see it even more. This is where I'm currently in the rock pools. And it's a bit slippery, as you would expect, but... Here's a little bit of advice when walking over rock pools. Don't step on the green bits. Because actually you could nearly fall over like I just did. <laughs> what do you reckon, whilst we're here, should we go for a nice little wander around Port Reef? I think it'd be rude not to. <sighs> And you come down behind this wall and it's like no wind. So what you used to be able to do, there's a little hut just there. And you used to be able to literally, when it was a storm, you could come down and stand there to get all your footage. But now, it's all sort of fenced off to stop people from, from heading down there. Probably, you know, just to stop anyone getting washed out to sea. Which is, you know, completely understandable. Oh God, I'm stuck. All right. I can get up there, right? Sorry about the butt crack. You're not getting it through the camera, but this really stinks. Kind of like that mixture of like seawater and diesel. It's like a slight fishy smell as well. <laughs> the only thing is I'm not overly looking forward to doing this climb up this narrow footpath in the early hours of the morning. current wind speed is about 35 miles per hour whereas tomorrow it's going to get up to about 85 
All right. You had the same idea as me then. Yeah. <laughs> Videos with you in the future. But, uh, Absolutely. Well, just give me a shout when you want to go down that massive hole. Yeah. Well, I'll give you helmets and light and all that jazz. I'll see you later. See you later. Funny the people you meet when you're out just in the elements. Carno XP. I suppose the next thing we'll be coming back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Smells a bit better than it did yesterday. back home now safe and sound just in case anyone was worried so that was storm Eunice in all her fury the strongest storm we've seen in 10 years apparently the guy that I bumped into yesterday was um, he gave me a sticker he's got a YouTube channel so make sure that you go over and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing and while you're at it subscribe to this channel as well I'll see you soon